that there is a world which is known as the world of the unseen. Amongst its contents, the angels, the jinn, and the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has informed us about the nature of each. Angels Allah created them from light versus the jinn were created from fire. As repeatedly Satan said that I'm better than him, than Adam. He created him from mud while he created me from smokeless flame in one ayah, from fire in another ayah, and so forth. Uh, concerning the jinn, which is basically what you're referring to, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says about their nature, إِنَّهُ يَرَاكُمْ هُوَ وَقَبِيلُهُ مِنْ حَيْثُ لَا تَرَوْنَهُمْ That Satan and his company could see you while you could not see them. And they do have the ability of disguising in any form and shape. And they do have the ability of uh, being presented before you as a human, or as somebody who passed away, or, 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 or. Uh, there is no way of communicating with the jinn, with us as humans, as believers, unless some of those who disbelieve in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and utilize the jinn, as he used to utilize them before Islam to inform them about what's going to happen tomorrow. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Al-Jinn that they used to uh, go up and ascend to listen to the writings of the angels with the commands that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is dictating to them to be executed in this following, in this coming year. And they would take one information and they would go down to their allies of the soothsayers or the fortune tellers and they would tell them about one correct information. For instance, there will be an earthquake, seven point whatever, in Japan. And uh, that many people will die. That was ordained to the angels. So they will uh, take this information and they will go to some soothsayer somewhere who has a microphone and will tell the people or write a book that I expect uh, an earthquake to take place in this area. So when it happens, it doesn't mean that he knew the unseen. But he used to be the jinn would overhear the information from the angels and uh, reveal them to their allies. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala stopped that. So the only way of communicating with the jinn through disbelieving in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that's why there is... Hello everyone, peace of Christ to all. As we heard in here, we heard many important things showing us how stupid this religion is. Number one, this man he said that a genie, he can show himself to you as a man. Then we ask ourselves, uh, genie, he mean, uh, by the way, when they say genie, it means uh, the Satan, satanic ones, you know, Satan. Because in Islam, genie is a Satan. And he's speaking about the, the, the children of Satan too, because in Islam, the Satan, he lay eggs. You know, if you remember the video I made before showing you the proofs, uh, the Satan, he lay eggs, and those legs, the, sorry, those uh, eggs, uh, uh, each one of them have uh, 70 Satan, like from each egg there are 70 Satan, they will come out. So Satan, he produced every day 10 eggs, <clears throat> and from those 10 eggs, uh, uh, there are 70 Satan, and this is how he have children. And uh, if you remember in the same video, I explained to you that how Satan, he have children even, uh, uh, according to their prophet, the Satan, he have sex with himself, he have a male private part in the right leg, and a female a private part in the left leg. So when he have sex with himself, simply he just shake his legs, so the male private part will go in the, the female private part in the left leg, and this is how he have sex with himself, and then he lay eggs. Say, mashallah, brother, Allahu Akbar, takbir. Now in here he said, that's, you know, this Satan, who is a genie, he can present himself to you in any shape, any form he want. This is extremely important. Because if you agree he can do that in any shape, any form he want, it's meaning he can appear to Muhammad as an angel. As a man. Muhammad, he mentioned many times that the angel, he speak to him as a man. Even the Quran said that even the angel who appear to Mary, he look like a man. And remember, here we are talking about our book, we are talking about their book. So what is our guarantee that this is the one they call him Jibreel, which is not our angel, the one is written in the Bible, Gabriel. Their one is, even his name is different, Jibreel, Muhammad trying to copy the names. What is our guarantee that this is not a Satan? As long he agreed that Satan, 
he can appear to us in any form he wants. Remember, any form. This is what he said. Let me let me let me play again what he said so we can remember together. That Satan and his company could see you while you could not see them. And they do have the ability of disguising in any form and shape. And they do have the ability of uh, being presented before you as a human or as somebody who passed away or, or, or. Did you hear it? So he can show himself as a human. Now, Muhammad, he have no proof that what he saw is an angel except one story. Once he came to his wife, her name is Khadija, and he told her, I see someone, I'm not sure if he's Satan or not. Even Muhammad was not sure. And as you see, Khadija, she don't see him. Only Muhammad see him, which is weird. And this is a proof what he is saying to us about the lies of Muhammad. Like, you know what? Satan, he can appear to you. The one he want only, not to everyone. And he can take any form he want, including a human being form. So his wife, she could not see what he see when even the angel was in the room with them in the same time. Now this is the book of uh, Ibn Hisham, volume number one. Uh, actually I can show you even the page number. This is the official government website of Saudi Arabia. It's page number 239. If we take the link, I will post the link next to my video. If we take it to Google Translation, we post it there. Choose Arabic to English Translate, post the link. You will see the following translation. The biography of Ibn Hisham. You will see in here that Muhammad, he came to his wife Aisha. He say, I see somebody. And I'm not sure if this is, uh, uh, you know, Jibreel. He's saying suddenly, Jibreel, a uh, peace uh, upon him. As he made the messenger of God, may Allah, etc., uh, Khadija, and received the, this Jibril. You said your, so he came to her. You know that the translation is kind of uh, funny, but it's enough to, for you to see what I'm talking about. So uh, he came to Khadija, and he said to her, "I see him. I see someone, but I'm not sure if he is uh, uh, angel or not, or he, maybe he's Satan." So she said to him, "When you see him." Let me know. When you see him, let me know. Then he became, he came, you know, he became again, or he came again to the prophet. And then he said, "I see him. He is here." She said, she, "No, she, so she said to him, okay, prophet, come and sit in the top of my lap, in my top of my my right leg.'" She asked him, "Look, the prophet of Allah now became like a baby." His wife, she said to him, sit in the top of my, le my, my right leg. Then she said, to, he, she said to him, do you see him? He said, yes. Then she said, okay, move to the other, other leg. He sat in the top of the other leg like a little baby. Again, she asked him, do you see him? He said, yes. Then she took off her clothes, showing her boobs, and she said, getting naked, you know, doing striptease, and she said, sit in the top of me. I'm not going to explain more, you know what I mean. This, this is going to be R-rated. And she said to him, do you see him? He said, no. She said, the glory to Allah, this is an angel. Look, read it. Sitting in the top of him, in the, in the, in, in, he sat in the top of her lap. And then when she said to him, do you see him for the last time? He said, no. Then she said, the glory to Allah, messenger. This is, a, this is an angel. So the proof, it was an angel, that it was, you know, uh, the angel Jibreel, as you see. I will post the link, the translation next to the video, by the way, you know, so you can read it. The proof, the only proof that this is Jibreel, it was Khadija doing striptease. Like, and if you ask Muslims how she knew this is Jibreel, like how she knew. So what if he left? They will say, oh, if he's a Satan, he will stay to watch. Well, Khadija, she was so old, he will not stay watch. He will go and watch someone maybe more young. And so what, you know, the angel, will, they will be shy from seeing a naked woman? Is that right? Well, the angels will be in the heaven of Allah watching Muslims day and night having sex. Everybody will be naked there. How come in here they are, they are, they are shy? And why he will be shy? Like he will get horny? Have you ever heard about an angel getting horny, getting excited for seeing a naked woman or even Satan? 
if Satan is made from fire, he will not be excited to see a naked woman. So the whole proof that Islam or the, 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 the one who speak to Muhammad was an angel, it was this uh, story which came from Khadija, which is very funny and very stupid to be. Now in the coming video, I will make, I will continue uh, uh, about what he said uh, regarding uh, uh, something extremely important, but I will mention it in the coming video about how genie and Satan they spy at Allah. So follow with me with the coming video please. Christ is Lord, Islam is dummy made by a dummy for every dummy, I mean.